This is the Spriggs Registration Press Plate and Die Set. There are 11 different press plates in this set and 11 cutting dies, as well as one registration template. I like to tape that in place to make sure it doesn't shift on me. The outlines on the registration template gives you an idea of which colors or which plates to place where and to do different colors with them. This makes it easy to create a colorful background. And I love the fact that each one of these plates has its own die set to go with it. So if you want to, when you are done doing this, you can cut them out. I am using Distress ink pads here. So the ink pads are quite big compared to the plates. And I found I was getting a lot of ink on that registration template. You wanna make sure that if you do get ink on that template, you do wash it off. If you're using the better press plates though, I think it wouldn't be as big of an issue because those um, ink pads are quite a bit smaller and you wouldn't have the excess ink pad in order to get it on the background. I absolutely love this background and I think this would be great for creating fall cards. I also use these press plates all together at once and use some dye based markers to color those press plates to create a little bit more of a spring look. I have a rainbow of different colors here. These are just dye based markers. So they're not gonna dry a whole lot on these plates, but if they do, especially the inks that I used at the beginning, I do mist with water lightly before putting it onto a mixed media or a watercolor paper and then I can die cut it. I arranged it on the top of this plaid type background and I love that you can get both spring and fall looks from the same press plate set.